Hi guys. In today's video, we'll try to generate attention maps from vision transformers. These maps would help you to explain your research or troubleshoot your vision transformer. So let's jump right in. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge the help of uh, these two references. The first one is a tutorial from PyTorch Lightning. The second one is a blog, uh, medium blog post by Hiroto Hawanda. These two uh, references helped me to create this uh, notebook. Uh, first, we're trying to uh, we're importing some uh, libraries, and in this cell, we are just setting some parameters for reproducibility. We're setting the random seeds, and we're choosing the device to be uh, CUDA. In this cell, we're importing uh, we're importing the uh, the MNIST library. The training dataset will be split into two parts: fifty thousand images for train set and 10,000 images for validation set. The testing data set will all go to the test data set. All images, and uh, we will apply this pre-processing to all images. As you can see here, we're, we're, we're specifying the transfer to MNIST pre-process. It will try to transform each image into a tensor and it will normalize the images between these two values. Then we're putting the data sets in, inside the data loaders. The data loaders are the special data structures by PyTorch. They will they let you to, they let you uh, specify the the data set. They let you specify the batch size and the shuffle. Here we're setting the shuffle and the training data set to true, but we are setting we are setting it to false at, at the inference time for the validation and for training data set because we want the uh, we want to the inference to be as predictable as possible. We don't want to introduce randomness at the inverse time. And this cell basically verifies the dimensions uh, for the images and labels at each data loader and the length of each data loader. So if we run this cell, we would find the training data loader is 50,000 and each image inside the training data loader is 32 batch is 32. One represents the channel and 28 is the number of pixels at the width of the image in MNIST, and 28 is the number of pixels at the height of the image. So each MNIST image is 28 by 28. Here we're just picking uh, four images from the validation dataset and showing these four images just uh, at random. And we're setting the parameters for the transformer. So return the transformer that the image size is 28, the embedding dimensions, which is up to the user, is 256. The hidden dimensions is the embedding dimensions multiplied by three, because we have to account for the key query value. And we're setting the number of heads to eight, and number of layers, num uh, and number of layers to uh, six. The batch size is seven, and the number of patches is 16. How do we get 16? So if we set the batch size to be seven, and the whole the, and the width of the image is twenty eight, this will give us four patches but, oh, oh, along the width of the image and four uh, and four patches along the height of the image. So in total, each MNIST image has a sixteen uh, patches. So that's why we're setting the number of patches to sixteen. The number of channels because we these are not RGB uh, images is two is one, and the number of classes is 10 and we're setting the dropout to be 0 0.2. Uh, this method were, uh, is very important uh, which converts the images into patches. So what does it do? It takes a tensor. The tensor is called X and it takes the shape. The shape is batch, color channel, height of the image, width of the image. In case of MNIST, it's batch, which is, we set it to 32, 1, 28, 28. Then it adds another two dimensions. It reshapes the X to add another two dimensions to account for so to account for the number of patches. So it finds the width by the patch size, and it divides the height by the patch size. Then it move it moves these two dimensions forward. It brings these two dimensions forwards. Just flatten these uh, two dimensions. If you uh, request to flatten the channel because you don't. Because which is what we're basically doing, uh, we we just we we just uh, set it 
249 because it's seven by seven. We just uh, we we're, we're just opening all we're just flattening all the the the, the pixels into into a 49 feature vector and feed it to the transformer. So this is a visualization after cutting these images. Each image has 16 patches. Now we start with a tension block. I'm, I'm, using, uh, I'm borrowing this architecture from the PyTorch Lightning uh, tutorial. So the first, the f first layer is a, is a normalization layer. It, has, uh, it, it needs the embedding dimensions, uh, which is 256. Then it uses the multi-headed tension from PyTorch with the embedding dimensions and the number of heads. Then it passes the input into normalization layer and a linear layer. The linear layer converts the embedding dimensions into the hidden dimensions and passes through nonlinearity and a drop out, then a linear layer to bring back the dimensions to the embedding dimensions. But this attention block is wrapped inside a vision transformer. So this attention block that we just, we just introduced is just wrapped inside this vision transformer. So what, a vis what does vision transformer do? At first has the it multiplies the number of channels by the uh, patch size uh, into the embedding dimension. So the number of channels is one, patch size is seven, seven to the power of two is 49. So 49 to 256, the first linear layer. The second layer of the, tra of the, of the transform is basically the attention block. The attention block repeated for the number of layers. So we would have six layers of attention block, each of which has eight heads in it. After that, it's followed by a multi-layer multi perceptron head and a drop out. And along the training, the network is, uh, looking, uh, is looking after a class token and a position embedding. Let me just, uh, here is, uh, how do we, how do we uh, set the model? If we print out the model, we will, uh, we will see that the, it starts with the input layer. It takes 49 features and it produces 256 the features. Then it starts for, for the transformer. The transformer is, is replicated for six times. Attention block zero, attention block one, attention block two, attention block three, four, Five. Then a multi hit, uh, an MLP hit, and a dropout. Each of the attention, each one of the attention blocks has uh, the same architecture: a normalization layer, and a, a multi-head attention, followed by a linear layer. So this is the training loop. I run the training myself for uh, twenty epochs. Uh, so this is the, the, the loss function is a cross-entropy. We are using Adam optimizer and we're using scheduler. I'm not using the scheduler. The scheduler is basically having the epochs from 100 epochs to 150 epochs, but I'm only setting the epochs to 20, so I'm not using the scheduler. But because I'm borrowing this code from the PyTorch uh, Lightning tutorial, uh, I kept it as is in case if someone needs to increase the epochs uh, beyond 150. So, uh, and here I'm saving the, the I'm setting the, the name for, for, for each uh, uh, model save to be uh, at the exact uh, time. This is the time. And this is the, basically a, a, a regular uh, uh, training loop where uh, we're, uh, we're computing the loss, then we're evaluating the validation data set. If the validation data set have a better value, we are saving the model. So this is the, the, the training loop. And the, the, this is the loss. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do here, the, because I'm saving the, the, the loss at each iteration, if I, plot, if, a, if I plot it one by one, it would be very noisy. So we have to take the average. So I converted the, I converted the, uh, the tensor to be 
to be three values. So I'm stacking the tensor to be three values and I'm taking the average for each of three values. So the, this plot is basically a running average for three consecutive losses. It's not as smooth uh, uh, as as would you expect, but it shows that how how the how's the how, how's the loss is decreasing. And this is the the uh, inference the, uh, the the inference at the test uh, data set. It gives us accuracy of ninety eight. And this is the important part of the video: how to produce a tension map for a for a single uh, test sample. Here we're picking the index of a test sample. We're saying, give us a test sample that its label equals seven. And it is the fifth one. So what does it do? It will bring all the test samples that, would ha that has seven, and we're picking the fifth one out of them because we don't want the first one. It's up to you to choose. But if, uh, just for the sake of testing, we're testing that for the fifth one. And we, then we're converting the image sample into a tensor. And we're cutting it into patches. Then we're running it through the input layer. The input layer which converts, the input layer is basically this layer here. It takes 49 features and it produces 256 features. So we are running this tensor through the input layer. After running it through the input layer, we basically concatenating the class token and we're adding the position embedding as if it was run through the, uh, the, 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 the network. It just uh, print out this, uh, the size, it would be 17 because the class token at 256, the embedding dimensions. Then we will run this tensor through the first transformer layer and the first linear layer. So if we go back to our th transformer architecture, you can see that there is a normalization layer and a tension layer and another normalization layer. But for this sequential, for, for this linear, for this uh, fully connected network, it is the one that produces a key query value. So it takes 256 features and it produces 768 features. These 768 features are basically ordered as query key value. We're not interested at the, at the value tensor. We are only interested at the query and key value because we want to see how, how the transformer perceives this test sample, where it is looking. What are the pixels that that, uh, that the transformer is looking at? So after running it through the the fully connected layer at the attention head, at the attention head, we're getting uh, a seventeen by seventy hundred sixty-eight uh, dimensions. So we're computing the last dimension just to just to reshape, uh, just to reshape the tensor uh, to the to the uh, to the correct shape. So we are reshaping it to the number of patches plus one plus one to uh, to account for the class token, three for the query key value, number of heads which is eight, and the last dimension. Basically, we, we, because we are trying to compute all these things and we order it into one tensor, the query tensor and the key tensor, and we're transposing the key tensor, then the attention matrix will be the query tensor multiplied by the key tensor transposed. And this is the attention matrix. It is 17 by 17 for 8 heads. And this cell basically computes the mean of the attention matrix and multiplies by the identity matrix and divides by the sum. Basically, it's normalizing the attention matrix to account for the uh, residual connections. Now we are computing the uh, attention uh, heat map and we're using uh, interpolate uh, method from the PyTorch functional 
just to see the 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 image the image the transformer response. So this is, this is the transformer response for for the, the digit seven. So for example, it attained to the start of the key if the pin struck, and this part interests the transformer uh, because it's looking at at, at the different uh, pin strokes. To generate a GIF image, just uh, save all these images into this directory, then use image image magic, which is an open source tool to uh, generate a GIF file. It will just uh, Combine all the PNG files into one GIF file, and you can control the 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 time frame between all these GIF files. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and please, if you find this uh, video interesting, uh, like and subscribe, uh, and visit my GitHub page. Thanks for watching. Bye.